calls by the Vatican for mercy, Texas has executed the first death row inmate of 2016. Richard Masterson was put to death by lethal injection. He's accused of strangling a female impersonator to death in Houston back in 2001. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer is joining us live. Jennifer, this case from Houston had the Pope weighing in, correct? Well, you know, Pope Francis has recently reinforced the Catholic Church's opposition to capital punishment, but that did not stop tonight's execution. A few protesters stood outside of the state prison in Huntsville Wednesday evening. Even a few nuns who didn't want to see Richard Masterson executed for a crime he committed 15 years ago. This case even drew the attention of Pope Francis. But just before 7, the 43-year-old was pronounced dead from lethal injection. He did look over at uh, his witnesses, lifted his head, uh, mouthed some words to them, uh, and then blew a kiss. It was then at that point that the warden asked him if he had any last statement. He did. In his final words, Masterson said, quote, I'm all right with this. Sometimes you have to live and die by the choices you make. I made mine, and I'm paying for it. Masterson strangled a Houston man to death in Montrose back in 2001. He then stole the victim's car, drove it to Georgia, and was later arrested in Florida. Over the years, Masterson has claimed the death was an accident and had several appeals before the courts. But his efforts to stop the execution were rejected. And at least eight other Texas death row inmates have executions scheduled for the coming months. We're live in Montrose tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.